In the next couple of years, AI will take a lot of producers' jobs, but it will also improve and give new jobs to new producers. A lot of the generic chart-topping songs will just be completely produced by maybe a hand or two handful of people who are extremely good at AI, but there will also be some people like Rick Rubin or Kanye who don't even know how to play instruments, but have extremely cool taste and they will kind of push the boundaries with the AI. Right now, AI is not that good yet, but what will be more and more important going into the future is your taste in music. That's why Rick Rubin, Kanye, and many more individuals are so high regarded in the music industry. Let me now show you how you can identify and improve your taste in music by understanding these four principles. And an amazing way I found to understand those principles is with RipX, a stem and MIDI separation software. For that, let's look at this sample which got used by Drake and 21 Savage. And boom, after that it loops again. So this is a chord progression you can already just, just take away and store on your repertoire. No, ah, this is the sound of this song from Drake. Or oh, this is the feeling that it creates. But one thing which is even cooler on this song is the lead that's getting played on top because it always creates different harmonies. The first note is already the ninth note of the chord. But as you see, essentially the lead is very simple. It's just an F and a D sharp with a couple of passing notes here and there. But because it's so simple, because the chords are always changing underneath it, it always creates different feelings and different spices. <laughs> well, the next concept which we will explore with RipX on this song is usually where the experienced producer will split from the rather unexperienced producers. It is creating harmony and rhythm throughout the whole spectrum of instruments. So for example, the guitar and piano are each playing a couple of notes from the whole chord that we hear in the song, and it sounds like this. But again, what they did back in the day is they made use of the different feelings and different frequencies each of the different instruments occupy in their cue. So for example, the string, which is playing a higher note, is adding a new, unique harmony to it, like this. And the piano doesn't even play the root note, so the bass has more space. See, nothing is down there at the bass. You already heard a sneak peek of the second thing, which this sample is doing an amazing job at teaching us. It is giving different instruments space to shine here and then the other instruments space to shine there. You see it instantly right here. The piano has about four bars. But then as you see, there's this gigantic hole of nothing in there which is the perfect time for the guitar to shine and play a melody. Let me show you. And that's exactly the reason of why the string melody is adding cool harmony, but it's also incredibly simple, like right here. It's just... Da, da, da. And then at the transition from the first chord to the second chord, where there's not really anything playing, the string gets a space. It's da 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 da. So each instrument gets their space around the spectrum and time of the whole thing. And that's already it for the video. I appreciate everybody for watching and have a good day.